And now to the coronavirus pandemic and new concerns about testing. Many of us have stocked up an at home test kits and maybe even taken one every once in a while. We're not we're not feeling so great. But with all the new variants, are those tests actually reliable? CBS 4's Joe Gorcho did some research and joins us in the studio now with more. Joe? Lauren Elliott, home COVID tests can provide a quick and usually accurate result, but one key component to an accurate result is the age of the test kit itself. Dr. Ellie Marty, an infectious disease expert, explains when it's time to toss a kit into the can and grab a newer one. Uh, FDA forces them to keep up, but that doesn't mean that the one in your shelf kept up. Dr. Marty says a signal to swap out for a new kit besides time when there's a new variant circulating that could overcome immunity it's very likely to be able to overcome the detectors on your rapid antigen test that's been sitting on the shelf for four months. If you wonder why, she says each of these rapid antigen tests looks for proteins of the virus, but not necessarily the same one. So some variants might slip under older or expired home test kits radar. And so that you don't necessarily get the result that's truthful. Dr. Marty adds that the federal government's free test kits tend to be more reliable over more variations for longer periods. That one is looking for nucleocapsid, which doesn't change as much as some of the other proteins that some of the other tests look for. Health experts agree that PCR tests are more accurate than rapid antigen tests because they detect small amounts of viral material. If you're unsure if your at home test is up to date, you can go to a free COVID testing site locally. It's going to be a holiday weekend. It'll be around people, like you said. And if you have the testing available, go ahead and use it. Daniel Asia is one of many we saw at Tropical Park taking an extra step to be safe before heading out of town to celebrate the 4th of July. Well, it's definitely important I'm going with the family, kids, so you want to make sure you're safe and healthy. And even if you're not testing for COVID, be mindful of high respiratory illness activity in Florida. CDC data shows Florida is the lone state since May 18th with weekly high activity. And again, when it comes to at home COVID tests, the FDA's website lists the kits and their shelf life. Of course, as we just heard from Dr. Marty, it's essential to factor in new variants when determining when to order a new home testing kit. Joe Gorcho, CBS 4 News tonight.